Hello, and welcome back to The Handy Outdoorsman. Uh, today we're up at the property, and I'm going to be putting some lights on the tractor. And these are rear lights, so that uh, as I'm driving down the road to the gas station or over to uh, the neighbors, that I'll be street legal. <laughs> hate to say that about my tractor, but uh, street legal so that uh, it's got flashing lights, and I'll put a slow-moving uh, vehicle triangle on here as well but what i wanted to show you today was uh just my small fabrication of uh putting the lights on here nothing uh, fancy or special i'm all uh relatively cheap not that expensive to do so hopefully um you'll have the parts laying around uh, to do this yourself so right now it's just sitting in here uh, between the the fenders i wanted to make sure i had the right uh, spacing on it but let me show you what i got I already had the brackets um, that go into the fenders themselves. I already had those. I took those off earlier. But then I took a piece of angle iron and spaced it between here. Now this is going to do a couple of things for me. One, I'll be able to mount the slow moving triangle right here in the center. And then also uh, to bring up my uh, center arm here and keep it out of the way of the PTO down there. And I'll just get a, a bungee cord and loop it here so that'll be out of the way when I'm backing things up and and whatnot so that that's what the, another purpose of this is and then in the center here let me show you that so I just flipped it around but but all this is is just a piece of uh, PVC uh, conduit um, junction box I went ahead and uh, glued in a switch so I can turn the lights on and off but this allowed me for a place to put the uh, blinking hazard um, diode in here and uh, all of my connections are in a watertight um, space so that's the reason for this and all I did was put it right in the center and put a screw in the back and that's just just what's holding it on so not many parts to this couple of uh, fender brackets and piece of angle iron and a piece of PVC uh, conduit box not a lot so let me go ahead and put this on the tractor but while I'm putting this on let me explain to you how this is wired up wiring up the uh, lights is very easy so I've got a, a small mock-up here so I have the battery from the tractor and then I've got the brackets that the lights will connect into and then I've got the 12 volt lights. Now I must say that uh, what I'm about to show you is for a negative ground 12 volt system. If your tractor is a six volt with a positive ground, this will not work. You'll have to do research on how to wire that up. So this is for a negative ground uh, 12 volt system. And on the lights themselves, there are two leads. One lead lights the front, the other lead lights the back. When I uh, turn the lights on, I want both lights to flash, so somebody in the front who's driving down the road coming towards me will see the lights flashing, and anyone behind me uh, obviously will see the lights flashing as well. So these two leads here coming out are your positive. Now, to get the negative to the light to make it work, you have to ground the uh, casing of the light itself. So I've got a lead here uh, connected to the frame of the light going to the negative of the battery. Now if I was just to take a lead directly from the light into the battery, the light will come on, but I want it to flash. So we need something in the middle between the battery and the light to interrupt that circuit and turn it on and turn it off. And that's what I have here. I'm not sure if uh, you can read this or not, but this is a heavy-duty flasher, part number 550. And it's basically the same thing that you have in your car to turn on your turn signals or your emergency uh, hazards. And uh, I'm not going to go through how this works. I'm going to refer you over to Mr. Pete222, your YouTube shop teacher, and... He does a very good job in taking one of these apart and explaining the anatomy and, and uh, how all of this works. He's 
really good job explaining that. So I'm going to direct you over to uh, to his channel. But basically, um, we have an input and we have an output. Now, whenever I connect anything up on the tractor, I always put an inline fuse, fuse something. So if I get something wrong and I connect it, it'll blow that fuse and give me a chance to figure out what I did wrong versus uh, having something start smoking. So basically it's pretty simple. We have an input and an output. So the input comes from the battery. I'll put that on here. And then we have an output. I'll put this lead on here. And then the other, the output goes to the light itself. And as you can see, it starts to flash. And you can hear this. Um, this component working just like you would in your car. So it works out. It's pretty simple. And I know I kind of went through that quickly, but it's actually not that difficult. Um, if you need a visual inspection, here's a drawing where, you know, we come off of the battery and then we connect into our fuse and then we go into a switch. Now, I didn't show a switch here. Um, but, you know, obviously you're going to want to turn this on and off, so you need a switch. So it goes into the input of the switch. The output of the switch goes to the input of the flasher. The output of the flasher goes to the lights. And then you need a, a ground or a negative from the battery to the lights, and you're all set. And that's just that simple. So that's it on wiring these lights into uh, the tractor. And this whole solution was very inexpensive. Uh, the lights themselves cost $4.95, so 10 bucks in lights. The flasher, I paid uh, $4, and I got all three of those at Tractor Supply, so it was pretty easy to get. And then I already had the, uh, the, the on and off switch. So I've got uh, about $14 right here, plus maybe $10 in wiring. So... $24, $25 to put this onto a tractor I think is going to be uh, a small price to pay so that I'm legal, one, when I'm on the road, and two, for safety, you know, driving down the street when I do take this down to the corner gas station. So pretty simple and uh, easy to do. Okay, so I've got the uh, bracket installed and I don't know if I showed it before, but I have the wire in this plastic tube that go follows the tractor itself all the way up to the front. And what this is going to do is keep it protected and then it comes right up here to the main panel and I've got a fuse uh, on the, uh, the positive side. Now eventually I'll go ahead and I'll I'll make some brackets that'll go in these bolts right here and it's just a piece of copper that's folded over with a hole drilled and then you, you kind of go ahead and put the uh, plastic inside of that the wiring harness inside of that but for right now uh, this will work I'll go ahead and um, over here in this corner I've got it tie wrapped down but then it just goes up here to the lights and then to keep the lights let's see if I can show you here to keep the lights uh, attached to the angle iron I just have a tie wrap there I drill a couple of holes slipped a piece of tie wrap in there and it's fine so here's the switch that turns it on and off so let's go ahead and turn it on and see what she looks like Let's, let me show you what it looks like in the back. So now I'm legal when I go down to the corner gas station to put gas in this or if I'm taking this over to the neighbors. Very easy project. You know, a couple hours to put everything together, but not very difficult at all. So I hope that this video inspires you to go out and put some lights on your tractor if you don't have them.
Thanks for watching, and as always, take care and God bless.